transparent and non-transparent setups. SmoothWall's web proxy service can be configured to operate in either transparent or non-transparent mode. But what are the differences? And how should you choose between them? When to use non-transparent proxying. The main reason to use a non-transparent proxy is so that web browsers and other client applications know that a proxy is being used, and so can act accordingly. Initial configuration of a non-transparent proxy might be trickier, but it ultimately provides a much more powerful and flexible proxying service. Configuring proxy settings in non-transparent mode. When using non-transparent proxying, approximate proxy settings must be configured on client machines and browsers. This can be achieved in a number of different ways. See our video, Proxy Distribution. Configuring SmoothWall for non-transparent proxy. In the SmoothWall, proxies are configured under Web Proxy, Authentication, Manage Policies. There are two tables on the screen, one for non-transparent policies, and one for transparent policies. Here we can see the non-transparent authentication policies. There should be an out-of-the-box configured policy. This uses core authentication. Authentication methods are covered in a separate video. To create a new non-transparent authentication policy, click on Create a new policy. In the What section, select an authentication method. Here we will use NTLM authentication. Choose the interface that you want to listen to from the list available. Select the port that SmoothWall will be made available on. 8080 and 3128 are typical ports used by other products. Click Next. In the Where section, you may specify different authentication policies based on network location. You may have a group of terminal servers which require different authentication to your Windows desktops, which may in turn be different to things like Apple TVs and printers. To add a location, double-click and it will appear in the included locations list. Alternatively, you can click the location and click Add. If you make a mistake, click to highlight and then choose Remove. Click Next. Finally, select the groups to be used when something is accessed within the authentication exceptions. If you do not add any groups here, the default of unauthenticated IPs will apply. Click Confirm. The policy will be confirmed back to you on a new screen. If everything is in order, click Save. Once the policy is created, you will need to restart the proxy. The SmoothWall will prompt you to do this. Just click the Restart Proxy button. When clicking Restart, Internet access will be disrupted temporarily, usually no more than 30 seconds. When to use transparent proxying. Transparent proxying should be considered when minimal or no network configuration is desired. Transparent proxying can be useful in mixed environments containing Unix, Linux, Apple, Mac, and Microsoft Windows systems. This allows quick access to the web proxy for everyone without having to configure a multitude of different platform-specific applications and browsers. In transparent mode, there are no special configuration steps needed to set up client browsers. Therefore, allowing proxy service to be activated and in use almost immediately. Once activated, all traffic destined for the Internet on port 80 and optionally 443 is automatically redirected through the proxy. Configuring SmoothWall for Transparent Proxy To create a transparent proxy policy, head to Web Proxy, Authentication, Manage Policies. Again, out of the box, SmoothWall will have one configured by default. If you have an additional network that you want a transparent proxy, such as bring your own device or another guest network, you will need to create a new transparent proxy policy. We can do that by clicking Create a New Policy. This will pre-select transparent and only show the auth methods that are available to transparent connections. Typically, these are redirect based on policies where traffic is marked as not authenticated and users will be redirected to a web server within the SmoothWall to carry out one of the requested auth methods. Transparent is also compatible with Kerberos logon scripts. Choose your interface from the list available. When filtering HTTPS, we need to consider that traffic may not have an SNI header. SNI stands for Server Name Indication. By default, the behavior is to block traffic without this header. 
although Smoothwall has a handy feature where it can be set to filter using the domain name within the certificate. This means that when Smoothwall sees a request go out to a secure website, it also makes a separate request to the site for the certificate. The Smoothwall reads the domains that are mentioned within the certificate and checks them against your set block and allow list and filters as appropriate. The other options related to locations and unauthenticated requests are very much the same as for non-transparent. Click Confirm and then Review and save the policy. You will be prompted to click and restart the proxy, which will enact the proxy. The transparent policy is now configured and any clients that are directed to the smooth wall on the way to the internet will be transparently filtered. See our video, Setting Up Your Authentication Proxy Policies. Both transparent and non-transparent proxying can be used together at the same time. Enabling transparent does not stop non-transparent from working. In situations where transparent is the norm, but a specific application requires non-transparent, you can simply configure the proxy settings in that application. Thank you.